So let's begin this lecture by asking the following question. What exactly is the pathway made by an electric charge moving within an uniform magnetic field in which the velocity is always perpendicular to the magnetic field? So let's begin by looking at the following diagram in which this region of space contains a uniform magnetic field that points into the board as shown by the following blue axis. Now at this particular moment in time, this positive charge has a velocity vector that points in the positive direction along our y-axis. Now as a result of this magnetic field, this charge will experience a magnetic force. Now we can apply the right hand rule to determine the direction of this magnetic force. We take our right hand, we point our fingers in the same direction as our velocity, we curl our fingers in the same direction as the magnetic field, we extend our thumb, and the thumb points in the same direction as the force, as the magnetic force, as a result of this magnetic field. So at this particular moment in time, the magnetic force will point in a negative direction along our x-axis. Now, recall that the magnetic force on a charged particle always points perpendicular at a 90 degree angle with respect to the velocity as well as with respect to our magnetic field. Now, because our magnetic field is perpendicular to the velocity and the velocity is perpendicular with respect to the force, this force, this magnetic force, will create a centripetal acceleration and our charged particle will move in the following direction. Now because this particle has a positive charge, it will move in a counterclockwise direction. If this was a negative charge, it would move in the clockwise direction. So. Whenever a force acts on an object perpendicular to the motion of the object and if our magnetic field is perpendicular to our velocity, this magnetic force will create centripetal acceleration. So that means the speed of this particle will remain the same, but the velocity will continually change because the direction of the velocity vector will continually change. So, by Newton's second law of motion, the sum of the forces acting on our charged particle is equal to the mass multiplied by its acceleration. Now, the force acting on this particle is a magnetic force. So that means this is equal to Q multiplied by V multiplied by B, where Q is the charge, V is the velocity, and B is the magnetic field. And this is equal to the mass of this particle multiplied by its centripetal acceleration. Now, centripetal acceleration is given by taking the velocity, squaring it, and divided by the radius of the circumscribed pathway. So we can take this equation and solve for our velocity and we see the velocity of an electric charge within a uniform magnetic field that is perpendicular to the motion of the charge is equal to the charge multiplied by the radius multiplied by the magnetic field divided by the mass. So as I said earlier, a positive electric charge moving in a constant magnetic field that is perpendicular to the motion will move in the counterclockwise direction. A negative charge will move in the clockwise direction. So let's look at the following example. An electron with a mass of this quantity and a charge of this quantity is moving in a uniform magnetic field that has B is equal to 0.5 Teslas. Now, if the velocity of our charge is always perpendicular to our magnetic field, find the radius of the circular pathway that is circumscribed by the following electron. Assume the velocity at this particular moment points downward and has a quantity of 5 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. So, we essentially apply our right hand rule and we calculate that the force 
points in this direction. So we go down this way, we extend our thumb, and because it's a negative charge, that means we flip the force, and the force points in this direction. So our charge will accelerate in a following clockwise direction. Now to calculate the radius of the circumscribed pathway, we use this equation and solve for the R. The radius is equal to the ratio of mv to be multiplied by q. So 9.11 times 10 to negative 31 kilograms multiplied by 5 times 10 to the 7 meters per second divided by 0 0.5 teslas multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs. Now, Notice the negative on the charge cancels because this velocity is actually also negative because it points in a negative direction along our y-axis. So the radius is given to be 5.7 times 10 to negative 4 meters.